business seems to be picking up. Hey, doesn't your conscience ever bother you? Well, what did you ever want? Him? Oh, half a pound of bacon, a couple pounds of sugar, half a tea, and weigh it out where I can watch you. What do you think of that drifter? Just another sourdough. Nah, he's too smart. Anything else? Nope, guess not. How much? Exactly two dollars and sixteen cents. Ever hear of a man by the name of Buck Taylor around these parts? I never heard of him and I don't want to. Good day. I heard him uh, ask the, the trader if he knew Buck Taylor. You better beat it, Frenchy, and tell Pete we got a visitor. The we. No use to taking any chances. Here he comes now. See what you can find out about him. Nice animal you got here, stranger. Yeah. You come far? Far enough. Are you prospecting? Nope. You hunting? Nope. Are you gonna be around these parts long? Nope. I'm leaving now. And if anyone should ask you, I wasn't here and you didn't see me. What'd you find out? Nothing. I think Mr. Stubner, he's finished. I told the boys to watch out for him. What makes you so sure that he's headed up here? Well, he asked for the man by the name of Taylor. My guess is pretty good, huh? What do you think? Maybe. You better beat it down to the trail. See if any of our fellas stopped him. And bring any identification to me. We. Oui. Well, Mr. Henry, my work is all finished. I don't see why I shouldn't go home. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. <laughs> Here we are breaking our necks to keep this thing quiet, and you want to go out and tell the whole world. But you said I would only be here a couple of days, and I've been here for months. Oh, shut up. Well, look now, why do you push my vase in? I didn't done you something. Ah. Mark, what I'm telling you, something will come from this. Yeah. Oh, shut the door. That fool Dutchman will mess this deal up yet. Any of the rest of you got any beefing to do? Now, remember, we're shooting at millions. This is no two-bit hold-up. We're all in it up to our necks now. And there's nothing to do but to go through with it. But we've got to work fast. 
It's just possible this Taylor guy got some word out before we croaked him. Oh, Schlager, tell my niece I want to see her. Now scatter you guys. We don't want to frighten her with your ugly mugs. You ain't no Romeo yourself, Pete. What did I tell you about using my right name? I forgot. I didn't mean nothing. Well, don't make any more slips like that if you want to stay healthy. Now beat it. What do you want to do with the Dutchman? I don't care what you do with him as long as you keep his trap shut. You mean... No, absolutely not. We need him. Now get out. Come in, Elizabeth. Well, my dear, how do you like your new home? Why was my door locked this morning? Sit down. I'll tell you all about it. I sent for you, Elizabeth, because you're my only heir. You someday this land will be immensely valuable. I can't tell you why. Because it would be dangerous to let the secret out. But, but Uncle Mark, I... That's why I keep all these men around here. There are certain people that would do anything to learn that secret. Why, only this morning, the men discovered a prowler. And the doctor. He tells me that I've only a short time to live. And I want your future to be assured. And I was thinking that if you and Bart... No, you don't mean... Yeah. Schlager's a fine man. He's worked with me for years. He'll make you a good husband. So, so that's why you sent for me. This bird was trying to... Oh, come in, Bart. You want to see me, Dr. Meyer? What I really wanted to well, say surely, was... surely, Doctor, you wouldn't leave me now. Why, well, only yesterday you said that I couldn't live more than... Doctor, quick, get me them heart pills. There's no monkey business. Get me some water with... I was starting to work on the gal. Well, I caught the Dutchman sneaking away with one of the horses. I don't see what you worry about the dame for anyway. We can force her and how you're running it. I say forget the dame and make the old man kill. I'm going to handle this mic. All right, all right. I'll say she heard something. I'll stop her, you fool. The spot that would put us in. Don't you realize that that gal is our trump card? We gotta have her. Now you go and bring the gal back here. And don't you lay a hand on her if you know what's good for you. Now beat it.
Well, fancy meeting you again. You seem to be rather busy around these parts, big boy. What's the idea? You turn me loose and I'll show you. Well, I'll be seeing you. Now don't go away. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You might get wet. Who are you? My name's Sullivan. Jim Sullivan. Where? Where's Flagger? Oh, you mean your friend? Well, I left him back there working out a very naughty problem. He seems to be nice and comfortable. Then, then you're not one of the... Well, I don't know what you mean, but I'm not. What's the trouble? I, I wish I knew I could trust you. Well, you could try. Say, you're all out of breath. You better sit down. Trying to get down to the post. Will you help me? Sure. Always ready to help a lady in trouble. You haven't asked me why I was running away or why Slager was chasing me. Or... Well, I sort of figured you'd tell me when you got around to it. Well, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. I'm Beth Henry and I'm visiting my uncle who lives just above here. And that bird? He works for my uncle. I was teaching school down in Quebec when my uncle, whom I haven't seen since I was ten, sent for me. Get me out of this. What do we eat? <clears throat> Let me have that gun. Why should your own uncle want to marry you off the slate? You know, it might not be a bad idea to pretend to side in with them. Find out what their game is. I'd like to know. Well, I couldn't do that. Why, if that beast Slager should touch me, I'd, I'd die. Well, how long have you been around here? Since last Sunday. That's the reason this country is all so strange to me. You ever hear of a man by the name of Taylor? Buck Taylor? I overheard Slager and my uncle talking about Taylor. I got the idea he was some sort of an outlaw. I think he's dead. I wish I knew. Reach! And reach high! So you would, but in smart guy. I've got a good mind to let you have it right now. Well, you can't hurt anybody with that thing. You forgot to reload. Come up and bring him along, Frenchy. For why bring him alone when the lake is so near? 
You heard what I said. I've got a personal score to settle with this bird. Besides, I think Miss Henry's uncle would like to have a little talk with him. Come on, sister. Let's go. And uh, this young hero of yours, did he by chance tell you his name? Now, I hope you'll let this be a lesson to you, Elizabeth. And teach you to put your trust in them that's near you. Why, that fellow might have killed you out there in them woods. I don't believe it. Well, you've got the word of the mounted police for it. And I'm going to send one of the men down with a message to the police tonight. And I'll see that you don't get a chance to warn him. Really, Uncle Mark, I'd like to understand you, but this is all so sudden. I come rushing up here, expect to find you dying. And for this man Slager, I, I hardly know him. Slager's a good man. He'll make you a good husband. But why all the rush? I wish I could explain it to you, my dear, but I can't. All I can do is to tell you that our lives are in terrible danger. Well, then, if, if my life's at stake, too, don't you think I have a right to know? Oh, that wouldn't help any. And you'll know when the time comes. Now, won't you try and see things my way? You mean marry this man, Slager? Why, he tried to kill me. No, no. He just tried to stop you on my orders. Well, his methods are a little too positive for me. See that Miss uh, Henry gets safely to her room. And tell Schlager to bring that jailbird in here. Now we, Henry. Come here. I suppose you know that you're guilty of trespassing on private posted property? I believe I did see some sort of a sign. Well, can't you read? A little. Then what are you doing on my property? And why did you fire at my men? Your man fired at me. And where I come from, we fired back. And besides... Never that... mind that. Now, what are you doing on my property and what do you want? Oh, I was sort of looking around for a job and... Well, you know, doing a little prospect. Uh -huh. What kind of a job do you expect to find around here? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very particular. Hmm. What's your name? Sullivan. Jim Sullivan. I said your name. Well, I guess Sullivan will do. That is, unless you have something particular in mind. And this man, Taylor. What do you know about him? It's what Taylor knows about me. It gives me a headache. Hmm. Mr. Sullivan, I think I can find something around here. I'll go back there and tell Frenchy to give you a bunk. You'll find him there in the hall. 
Thanks. Uh, shall I take my bags? Sure, sure. And don't forget, we're just as particular about people leaving as we are about them arriving. Oh, I get it. Very hospitable. You mean you're going to cut that bird in on this? Hey, who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you, and I want an answer right now. Well, you got it. He's in. What's the idea? What do you know about him? The idea is mine, and I know plenty about him. In the first place, you fell down with a gal. You got too rough. <laughs> this bird seems to have a way with women. Besides, I can handle him. He's got to do as I say. That dame will mess up things yet. I wish I'd have plugged her this afternoon. We could have faked up a marriage certificate easy. Now, this thing will be handled my way. Now, listen. Ready? Bigger. Oh, this is... This is a very rich field, Mr. Henry. Yeah, you could place one every 50 feet. On this line. It was worth. Oh, well... <laughs> who can say? <laughs> Millions, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mr. Henry, my work is finished. Now I go home, yeah? Sure, sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you too much. When I give you the word, and not until. What? You heard me. Now get out of here. Watch what I told you. <laughs> Something will come from this. It's you. They're going to send for the police. So they did go through my saddlebag. Sure is shotgun. Well, maybe I can kill two birds with one stone. You go back to your post. Keep your eyes open and your trap shut. Gary Sullivan, eh? So what? Well, here's something you don't know. He's back there in the dame's room. And if you ask me, that guy knows something. And she's telling them plenty more right now. That's funny. He seems to be watching this window. You suppose he saw you come in? I'm getting ready to go to bed. Where is he? Where's who? There's, there's nobody in here. 
Well, maybe not now. Hey, Joe, come here. You see anybody come in here? I saw somebody go in, but I ain't seen nobody come out. Come on, step out of there. I'll give you just three. One, two. Light that lamp. Where's your gun? I have a gun. No. Well, we'll see about that. What do you call this? And it's still warm. Got him right through the heart. Don't see any bullet holes in that door, do you? And did you notice the bullets entered from the back? Well, what about it? Nothing, when he was facing this door when he was shot. Well, he probably turned when you... Isn't that the way you figured, boys? Henry had him cornered in the closet. And he shot him. Take him away. We know how to handle his kind. Come on. No, he didn't do it. You know he didn't have a gun. Yeah? What are you going to do? We're going to give him the same as he gave your uncle. That's what we're going to do. He didn't kill him, and you know it. Well, maybe I do. You want title to my uncle's land, don't you? You're certainly reading my mind. All right. If you'll let this man go back to where he came from, unharmed, I'll sign over whatever claim I may have on this property to you. Do you? My word of honor. I'll take you up on it. No. He's innocent, that's all. Just trying to help me. All right. Go on up front. Here, baby. She's the sweetest girl in all Canada. <coughs> you know, you turned out to be a pretty good egg after all. <coughs> Why don't you be a good fellow then? I am a good fellow. Prove it. Tell me what all this mystery's about. All right. You know, there's enough here for all of us. There's millions and millions in this land. And it's ours. Yours and mine. It's too bad we can't enjoy it together. should stop that awful howling. I'd do anything for you, sweetie. Oh, God.
What is it? What happened? I saw him. Uncle Mark. He was down there in the hallway. I was trying to find you. And he came from under the stairs. Well, he came from up here. It was a mighty friendly ghost. Somebody or something cut me loose while I was asleep. Oh, now's your chance. You've got to get away now. Slager's drunk. Well, the first thing to do is to find some sort of a weapon. Slip down on me, eh? Well, we'll see. Ghost! <laughs> Ghost! My eye! <laughs> It's closed right now. Now listen. I'm going down the telephone line and notify the post. We can barricade that stairway so you'll be safe here. Slager's getting desperate. We may need help. Right back. Be careful. There he goes. Let's get him off. Oh. He's got to come down this way. Got him! Come on! Sure we got him! Here comes his horse!
There he is. On the telephone post. Hello. Give me the mounting headquarters, quick. Give me that rifle. Hello, hello. Yeah, Sergeant Sullivan, section 44. Northwest, Henry's cabin. Send detail, quick. Come on. Rack it up. There's more than one way of getting into that attic. Now that's the way you keep a promise, huh? You're not afraid of me, are you, honey? I think it's about time you and I got together. You watch that door, there's something wrong. Guess you and I'll get together after all. Yeah, don't mind me. They've taken Beth all over the North Trail. But who are you? I'm Beth Sunko. It isn't time. Come on, follow me.
Beth, this is your uncle. But I, I don't understand. Yes, my dear, I'm your uncle. The other man was Pete Drago, my head driller. He kept me prisoner here and capped my well and tried to steal my land. But this man. What? <laughs> you don't know me, Maya, the great geologist? But I thought you were a doctor. I am a doctor of oil wells. Mm. Well, <laughs> it happened. Now, I go home. You got the men, Sergeant. Any further orders? Yes, Corporal. Tell the inspector I'd like to have a leave of absence. I don't think my investigation here is quite finished. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 